Is Arc Survival Evolve going to be bigger than Pokemon? These are two incredibly fun and addicting multimedia franchises with similar concepts. Today, we'll look at both franchises, looking at their respective video games, products, and TV shows to determine if Arch Dinosaurs and Beasts will make good old pocket monsters a thing of the past. I'll try to keep this brief as we look at the franchise as a whole and speculate about their futures in games and entertainment. I'm super excited about Pokemon Legends Arceus, Arc 2, and Arc the Animated Series. I would love it if you guys commented down below what you want to see from those. We can definitely discuss. Uh, the video will be annotated so you can skip to any part of the video that you're interested in. To be honest, I love them both greatly. And I spent at least a thousand hours between these two monstrous franchises. Since the game I first played was Pokemon Diamond and Pearl when I was six years old, I'd like to start there. About a hundred billion dollars later, which is kind of crazy to think about. Pokemon has made the 2021 gross domestic product, and gross domestic product, for those that don't know, is the accumulation of everything within the country that the businesses are selling, something like that. And uh, of the Bahamas, Iceland, Jamaica, and Armenia combined. Uh, to dive into Pokemon Legends Arceus, I think it's a really cool concept, and I can make a whole video about that. Also, so yeah, throw that in the comments if you want to hear that. I'll quickly go over the story of Pokemon, which is about 26 games in the main series, but overall there's 120 Pokemon games in total in a world similar to ours, except the animals called Pokemon all have at least one and no more than two out of 18 total official types that go like this, are you ready? Psych! I'm not gonna name all of them, there's way too many, that's 18 types, but you can look them up yourself. Uh, now, to start a main series Pokemon game, you decide what gender you are that day, then pick whatever cute dead in the animal your local professor will let you have as a 12 year old, and you set out on a journey, assembling a team with the power of friendship. I mean, not really, mostly you enlist them in your private army, but at least it's so you can get that champion, clout, and paycheck. Gotta catch them all for number one baby. Maybe even fight some evil guys along the way. So where do the Pokemon games go next? Well, to keep it brief, once again, Pokemon Legends Arceus could be the craziest game we've ever seen. With starters mixed match from the different eight regions. I'm talking Cyndaquil from Gen 2. I'm talking Oshawott from Gen 5. I'm talking Decidueye, the baby one. Uh, from Gen 7 or 8, whichever one was based on Hawaii. That one. Uh, the Pokemon aren't just hidden in the tall grass either. They're just walking around. You have Chimchar, Piplups, Turtwigs, and Starters just out there in the world. Now, I didn't play Sword and Shield, but I, and I'm not sure if that's uh, something new, but personally, I think that's kind of crazy because in, in my experience, you know, I've played a couple games in my past and in my time. And that was not a thing, uh, which is one step closer to joining the similarity that I, I would like to do so much and, and having my own Charizard. Personally, for Pokemon Legends and Arceus, I would like to see some primal versions of Arceus, Garatina, Dialga, and Pokia. Those are my OG legendaries, and I, I love them to death. But I'm a very simple man. For a couple of years, People have wanted a new combat system. If you want that, I don't think you're gonna get this game. I, I think that's more of your poking or smash. We haven't seen any really hint of that in the trailer, so I'm sorry for those people. Briefly, one more thing about the starters. It looks like Project Arceus is an old-timey Sinnoh region. You got gas lamps and all that. I think they even mentioned feudal. So. If we had some ancient Sinnoh forms similar to the Galar slash Alolan forms, people have made fake leaks about armored evolution in the past, and I think a grass archer, water samurai, ninja typhlosion oh, would be sick because all the starters, for people that don't know, have these concepts, but that's that could be for another video. Uh, I think I would love to just see them have a, a cool refresh design, higher attacking stats, and, and faster, because in competitive Pokemon, th that's what really matters. Uh, you know, if you guys want to see that as well, I mean, fuck it, we could do that too. We could we could get competitive. Throw throw your name and challenge me, and, and I'll beat you. I, I might be the best. Uh, I'm calling out Blunder and Pokeaim. Uh, to get 
to wild card, which is the wild card in this matchup. Wild card, for those that do not know, is Arc Survival Evolves Studio that creates it. Uh, with the final release of paved DLC that is Genesis Part 2, Arc has seen a player increase, bringing it to an average of 60,000 players this month with a peak of almost 150,000. I thought that was pretty cool, so I threw that in there. That made me hopeful for the future because it sounds like a lot to me. And I've been playing Ark for about five years now. So the story of Ark, basically you wake up, there's dinosaurs, monsters. You can use said dinosaurs and monsters by domesticating and taming through various methods of different difficulties, depending on the creature itself. For example, taming a Reaper King, which you can only get from a Reaper Queen, it's a big monster that looks like Alien, if you've ever seen the Alien franchise, is one of the most difficult things you can do in Ark, and I've never been able to accomplish it. I would definitely like to try it. Uh, besides that, besides the creatures themselves, you gather blueprints, create weapons, and build military bases, like classic clans, except first person point of view, like Jurassic Park, except you got energy weapons and jetpacks and, and guts like Halo or Mass Effect and Lord of the Rings just just had a baby. They just they all impregnated the same womb, you know, mixed with Pokemon. They all just they took a Pokeball and I, I don't want to get into it. You find out more about the story through notes that you discover while you explore on whatever map you're on. And I'll, I'll just discuss it in detail when we get to the TV show section of the video, which has a pretty stacked cast. Uh, to quickly talk about the stacked cast, we got Gerard Butler, Russell Crowe, and Vin Diesel. Vin the Diesel. Stay tuned or skip ahead for more information on that. Ark, originally released in 2017 as an early access game, and Ark 2 has recently been announced about a couple months ago, set for 2022. So I'm absolutely amped, and honestly, I think Ark must be one of the most successful early access games ever. And if you see, it's kind of having a similar trajectory or inception as Pokemon, where it starts off as one game, right? You have those uh, iterations, slight iterations, and, and the whole creature dynamic could, now they're coming out with, you know, this cartoon. Could we see Ark become bigger than Pokemon? I don't know. Listen to the rest of the video to find out. Pokemon has 120 games. I know, I told you this. But in terms of DLC only, two that I know of, Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra for Pokemon Sword and Shield. What other DLC? I don't know any other DLC. Ark has only got one game release, but it's already got 10 DLCs. 10, maybe 11 maps with the 11th as of now being unconfirmed, but the community is pretty sure they'll come out with a new map, and it's actually recently, this just in, been announced. It's 35% finished. It's called Lost Ark. Kinda looks the same to me, but I heard that there's gonna be a lot of caves in this one. If they can put an OP amount of tames, if they could put rock drakes on a new map, that's something I would really be happy about. Anyway, Ark has 176 creatures. Pokemon has 932. That's a lot. A lot of creatures. We can see that there's a lot of creatures between them. For shits and giggles, let's compare and contrast the battle systems. For the uninitiated uh, Batman reference, Ark is real-time like FPS. Plays like Destiny meets Fortnite. Compared to Pokemon, it's a JRPG, Japanese RPG, turn-based system. They each have their merit and a fond place in my heart, but if Ark makes a Battle Royale game mode, like Warzone with loot crates containing cryopods and tech. Oh shit. I know we've already seen something like this with Survival of the Fittest, but I think they can do it better. I could see a lot of people finding quick games on a small map really fun because Ark has such deep combat mechanics. It could be crazy. You might not want the Cryo Giga you just got, which to my knowledge right now are a staple of PvP. Cuts. Listen to this. What if you get sniped or Rhino hit and enraged and you're only one life? God. There's so many options for Ark 2 
In the trailer, which I'll now be showing you, we see alien cavemen looking freaks, the ogres, who knows what the hell they are. New Rexes, possibly, maybe some other named creature, and a new flyer with some tech suit stuff going on. What I expect to see, new creatures, like I mentioned, redesigns, most likely, and maybe even more advanced rating AI from those cavemen. I think that could be really cool. That could spice up single player and PVE and PVP. I'm looking at you, you tribe of weirdos. Um, you know, they could come for your loot. If you have a stone base, maybe these people could destroy them. Like imagine that, that could be chaos. The people that don't know, you have to spend uh, an amount of time to get ready and all. It depends whether or not you're on boosted or unboosted servers. And I think having to defend your base from some madness and having it be an option, obviously, on some servers that you could turn on or turn off, where they could just come fuck your shit up would, would, would be pretty cool. That could, that could spice up for sure. But really, the possibilities of the next arc are endless because there are no laws for this universe. This is a universe where you, you can go to space and you can ride a T-Rex. So let's talk about products real quick. I'll go over this super quick. Arc has way less, so I'll start there. Looking for Arc products, there's not many at all. If you want swag, quote unquote, you can see some on Amazon. I'm not even sure if it's official Arc swag, but there's some on Amazon, if you're looking for it. They had a giveaway of the plushes and stuff. I think it's too late. Sorry, friend. I'm sure you can buy it off eBay. eBay. Anyway. Pokemon absolutely killing that game. They have the Pokemon TCG, which is insane. I, I like looked at it just a little bit. Like I was wondering, because I saw people like Logan Paul collecting these things and he walks out at the Floyd Mayweather fight wearing a million dollar Charizard around his neck. And that is some drip or heat that I would like to have as well. Um, Please, please don't roast me for that. Uh, but anyway, some of these cards are worth thousands of dollars. So, I mean, they're obviously doing something right. I guess the rarity, I I'm not really sure, but maybe Ark could do something like that. You know, collectible creature cards. I don't really know. Create some type of game around. We're probably gonna see some merchandise related to the Ark animated series, most likely, I would imagine. But I think it could be dope. If Ark and Pokemon went into holograms, like Skylanders meets Tamagotchi, except holograms. That was just a, a side note that I was thinking about. Anyway, the last thing I want to talk about are the TV shows. Pokemon have had a ton, warranted by the massive success, then and now. It follows. Ash from Pallet Town. He's been everywhere. Seen most of every Pokemon. With his trusty Pikachu. Right now he has a friend Go and Go caught Suicune. That's cool. You know Suicune. It's the blue one. It's the water one with the purple hair. And it's really annoying if you play it in competitive battles. It won't die. Maybe a more mature anime for their aging audience would be kind of crazy. I'm not sure how they could do this because Pokemon skews kind of young, but I think that could be really cool. They had a Pokemon animated series on their YouTube channel, which was of Red, and he had a Mega Charizard, and he caught Mewtwo. I thought that shit was sick. So if we could see some, some more stuff like that, I would, I would probably check it out, because I'm not really going to watch the cartoon, but the cartoon isn't for me. Archon, the other hand. That shit is coming out in 2022. Can it be Pokemon? I don't know. What is the story of Ark? You got Helena Walker in this animated show. He Helena Walker is a lady from our time, and she's a paleontologist, not just any lady, a paleontologist. Fun fact, what I wanted to do as a child. 
is someone who studies dinosaurs. And she studies dinosaurs. She wakes up, she's on an island. She's like, why am I on an island? I'm not from this island. Not only is it her from our time, you got Roman emperors, you got Native Americans, you got scientists, you got people from the future. And, and all these people are, is gonna be Gerard Butler, Russell Crowe, Vin Diesel, like I said. If you look at the trailer, which we'll be playing right now, you see somewhere in the trailer, the raptor dies. Uh, you know, we're gonna be watching a story like Game of Thrones with Jurassic Park and Star Wars. I think a war animated TV show, oh my God. Like I could do a whole podcast about this. I think it's really, really cool. How she fit into it, I'm not sure. But eventually she becomes an AI in the game. So following the journey of the first people to inhabit the Ark is fascinating. And I want to see dino fights, turrets, tech suits with lasers, astrodelphus, tropiogonothia, however you say that. Every 176 creature in 14 episodes, which there's going to be 14 episodes. How long in these episodes? I forgot. Which I want to see. I'll be disappointed if they deliberate too long with each episode. But I think covering a couple months and, and you know, she starts off and if we don't see tech, I'll be kind of upset. You know, there's titans. There's titans in extinction. Titans being kaiju. And for people who don't know, kaiju are gigantic monsters. If they can incorporate the kaiju, maybe that's season two. Will that be in season one? So many questions. Rex armies. We've seen flak. The posters always show big ass battles. And when you look, when you log into Arnold, I want to see Lord of the Rings, Army of the Dead, dragons, tree people. Herbivore Village, Carnivore Island, but I, I want all of that. But I also want to see the Cryopod Tribe. Like maybe they, they run up on some people and they're like, yo, what, what is this? Look at this land. It's, it's got a force field and, and madness. Look at that T-Rex. It's got a, a armor on it and it can shoot lasers. I, I, I want to see that. I want to see the, the mammoths, the parasers, the gas bags, the mega echelon, which is a giant turtle. Trikes, Stekos, Shadow Mains, Quetzals, Rock Gollums, Rock Trains, Reapers, Gigas, Rexes, Spinos, Noglins, all of them. Imagine Roman Dictator sending Soakers. Send in the Soakers! You know, like, you got Gerard Butler or whatever. And, and, and all, like, the tanks, the defenders, like, you have the Rock Gollums and Allosauruses and Raptor Packs. Send out the Raptors! You know, like, the, the, the infiltration unit and you got the shadow mains and the rock drakes all invisible and shit and they pop out and they're like hey pop out and you know it's crazy it's madness absolute madness anyway I think that's enough <laughs> I think I think that um please please someone if you want to talk about this with me I would love to you know it has a big shoes to fill a lot, of, a lot of big shoes. Now, what do you want to see from the future of Ark in Pokemon? Will it be bigger? Even though it's probably a bit of a mature crowd, you know? You got blood in Ark, which is something you don't have in Pokemon. Now, I know this video is a bit of a ramble. These are just some stuff that I like to talk about. So, I talked about it. Um, subscribe if you can. You don't have to. Comment if you can and, and turn on the bell. Click the bell. Ring the bell. And I don't know if it makes a noise. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, this is your boy, your friend. Uh, if you got anything going on in life, you know? I mean, I would love this to be just a community where we play games and we learn. I'm gonna try to make some different stuff, some more educational stuff uh, in the future, but that's, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, when am I posting next? Hopefully soon. I'm going to start working on a schedule, I'll make a schedule and the schedule will be up, I'm thinking about starting Twitch streaming and uh...